A blessed day, everyone. Welcome back to our channel at Ina's Creation. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts. For today's video, we will be having our grade 9 music entitled Performance Practice During the Classical Musical Period. And this is still part of our Math and Music Quarter 1 module. We're now on our week number 2. We'll start with our introduction. This module was written for you to explain the performance practice, like the setting, composition, role of composers or performers, and the audience during the classical period. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to recognize the different performance practices in the great composers during classical period and appreciate the importance of it. Let's start everything with our learning task. For our learning task, you have to identify the following composers by supplying the missing letter. I have here our three featured composers with their complete names. Some of their names have missing letters. Can you solve this to form the different complete names of our featured composers? Let's see if you have the same answer. We have Franz Joseph Hayden. We also have Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Ludwig van Beethoven. Welcome to the music of the classical musical period 1750 to 1820. This classical era is the period from 1750 to 1820. It is also known as the Age Reason. During that day, the cultural life was dominated by the aristocracy as patrons of musicians and artists who have commonly influenced the arts. When we say aristocracy, we are upper-class society. The music of this period was generally of an orderly nature, with qualities of clarity and balance, and emphasizing formal beauty rather than emotional expression. In the middle of the 18th century, Europe had begun new style in architecture, literature, and arts, and this is known as the classicism. This pushed changes in the economics, order, and in social structure. The instrumental music was patronized primarily by the nobility. Let's now have the greatest composers during the period. There are a lot of composers during classical period, but well, there are three who stood out. And we will be learning more about these composers. Starting with our first featured composer, none other than Franz Joseph Hayden. He was born on March 31, 1732 in rural Austria. This is how his humble home looks like and he died on may 31 1809 in vienna austria his life was described as a rag to riches story he is from a poor family and his music led him to rise in his social status he was hired by rich patrons and eventually became Musical director for the Esterhazy family for 30 years. Hayden was named father of symphony and the father of the string quartet because of his great contributions to this genre. His personality and character reflect in his music and these are calm, balanced, serious but with touches of humor. He has a great contribution in the establishment, the forms and styles for the string quartet and the symphony. Let's now have Hayden's compositions. Here are some of his famous work, the Surprise Symphony, the Clock and the Military. And among this composition, the Surprise Symphony is the most popular one. Do you know why it is called Surprise Symphony? Because there is a surprise loud beat 
in the middle of the composition. Again, our first composer, Franz Joseph Hayden. Let's now proceed to our second composer, none other than Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Mozart was born on January 27, 1756 in Salzburg, the Archbishopric of Salzburg, Austria. It was said to be the yellow house that you see in the picture. He died on December 5, 1791 in Vienna, Austria as well. Somewhere in this St. Mark's Cemetery. He is widely recognized as one of the great composers in the history of Western music and considered as the most amazing genius in the entire musical history. At the age of five, he was already playing the violin and the harpsichord. While at the age of six, he was recognized as not only as a pianist but an exceptional pianist. And during his seven years old, he was already composing excellent music. At 13, he had written sonatas, concertos, symphonies, religious works, and operas and operettas. He created more than 700 compositions in all. But there is one sad part about Mozart's life, and it is due to mismanaged finances. Mozart lived his life in poverty and died young and was buried in an unknown grave. And due to poverty, he can't even afford to have a decent and formal grave. Mozart died in Vienna, Austria in 1791. He was buried in an unmarked communal grave. When Constance returned with flowers one week later, she could not find the grave. The exact location is unknown to this day. Let's now have his compositions. These are some of his compositions. The Medici Figaro, Don Giovanni, The Magic Flute, Ein Kind Match Music, Symphony No. 14, G Major, and Sonata No. 11 in A Major, K311. And among these compositions, one of his very famous work is The Medici Figaro. Don't you know that Marriage Figaro was widely used in different cartoons such as Tom and Jerry? Yes, it was Mozart's composition. Once again, the musical genius, our second composer, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It's now time for our third and last composer, none other than Ludwig van Beethoven. He was born and baptized on December 17, 1770 in Bonn, the Archbishopric of Cologne in Germany. This is happened to be his house. He died on March 26, 1827 in Vienna, Austria. Like Mozart, Beethoven has a formal grave. And here it is. Beethoven belongs to a family of musicians and he studied music at an early age. He is the predominant composer who bridged the late classical era and the early romantic era. He is brilliant pianist and composer. That's why some of Beethoven's work can also be performed and heard during the romantic era because he's the one who bridged it. And here is the timeline of Beethoven from age 20, 29, 43, 47, and 52. Just like Mozart, Beethoven faced a challenge during his life. And it is when Beethoven started going deaf when he was around 30 years old during 1796. Imagine a deaf composer. It was heartbreaking for Beethoven. But Beethoven never gave up. Although he could no longer hear well enough to play the piano, this did not become a hindrance and he continued composing with the help of an assistant and a hearing gadget. Do you know that some of the compositions he made when he was deaf became more famous? Yes, it became more famous. He never lose hope of his passion in music. He just made ways on how he can compose. 
And using the gadget such as this one helps him to hear little but compose more and extravagant compositions. He has 32 piano sonatas, 21 set of variations, 9 symphonies, 5 concertos for pianos, 16 string quartets, and choral music. His known symphonies are Symphony No. 3, No. 5, No. 6, No. 9, which add voices to the orchestra. And who can never know Symphony No. 5? Then, 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 then. Yes, it was the composition of none other than the great Ludwig van Beethoven. Now, it's time to have a quick summary of what we've learned for today. During the classical period, members of nobility supported the musicians financially, just like the aristocrat or the noble people. Mozart became poor because of financial management problem. And Hayden was named as the father of symphony, while Beethoven became a deaf composer. Classical music was not common among lower class because it was played in the court during the classical period. So, classical music is most, mostly for aristocrats and the upper classes. Now, let's summarize the values we've learned from our composer's life. For Mozart, manage your earnings. If you have abundance of money from the start, learn to save because you will never know up to when you will receive that blessing. And for Hayden, you can achieve your goals even you start poor. Just believe and work hard. Being poor should never be a hindrance to your dreams. And of course, for Beethoven, physical challenges in life should not be taken negatively. Deal with it, and soon you will see a brighter outcome. There you go. The wonderful values from our composers. And that's all for our discussion for today featuring great music performance practice during the classical musical period. I hope you learned a lot for today's discussion. And I'll see you again in our week three, which is entitled Relation of Other Art Forms of History in the Classical Music. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be updated with other videos that will help you answer your learning tasks in your module activities. This is Aina's Creation. I hope you learned a lot for today and I'll see you again next time, everybody. Thank you, God bless, and bye-bye.